Hi guys, Eugene here with another episode of Darkroom TV. This episode is our February 2021 episode. Valentine's Day is coming up. So uh, we got a couple things to talk about that are come, uh, we have going on right now. Uh, we have a free template. If you use a coupon code, I'll have a link to the template as well as a coupon code, uh, which is Love Darkroom. They're Valentine's Day templates and um, they are updated for 2021. Uh, they actually have the year that updates automatically. If you're not familiar with using that um, variable or that placeholder text, it's uh, percent year percent and that will actually update the year so you don't have to change it each year. You can reuse templates and they're already ready to go for that year. So question I get a lot about the templates that we do on darkroomtemplates.com. Um, they're XBDRs which is not supported or uh, native to Darkroom Core. Um, the reason for that is the files can be en embedded into a single file and the, the graphics are preserved for copyright reasons for uh, so they can't be taken and used in different ways and that's just to protect the, uh, uh, the original designer. But you can use XBDRs in Darkroom Core. The issue is you're not able to edit the the template you have to use it as is so there's a workaround you can download an unlicensed uh, version of darkroom booth edit your template however you want and then save that file and then add it into darkroom core it's kind of a little trick um, hopefully eventually or hopefully we have uh, xbdrs natively supported in darkroom core i think that's a the route that we eventually want to go. Um, a lot of core users like having the file separately, so all they have to do is update a file and not a template. Um, but XBDRs are, they're easier to use, easier to move. You don't have to worry about keeping your files and your graphics in the same location. So I think that's probably what the future holds for Darkroom Core. Um, next, we have, um, Recently, I've uh, created quite a few Darkroom Pro videos. We don't talk about Pro too much because it's kind of higher end, but a lot of people are curious, what's the difference between specifically Core and Pro? And they kind of work hand in hand once you get to a certain level, once you get past uh, you know, the basic single computer or using multiple workstations. That's where Pro comes in. So I've got a few videos coming out over the next couple weeks on differences between core and pro and those are worth looking at if um, there is a specific software that we make that you want to learn more about it um, that I don't talk about enough let me know in the comments uh, what you want to see more of okay so the next on my list is um, a Dropbox issue they have decided that they want to change how third-party apps log into their software. So we've come up with an update that uses that new login method. If you're having problems logging in, you'll want to make sure you're on the latest build that just came out. Um, you'll need to have a current maintenance plan. But if you're using um, Twilio in Darkroom Core, Dropbox is still required versus Darkroom Booth, it's not required anymore uh, to send SMS mes messages through Twilio. But in Darkroom uh, Core, uh, we have an update. You'll just want to email support and they'll send you a link to that. For Booth, we've already uploaded it to our downloads page. So you can download the latest build of Darkroom Booth and it has that fix. So you can log into Dropbox if you're using Dropbox. And um, you may remember a similar issue came up with Facebook and they just cut ties with third-party apps altogether. So this is one of the big reasons why we really like Event Gallery. That means that we have control over it and it's always going to work because we're the company maintaining Event Gallery. So this is a, a good reason to use Event Gallery that it's going to continue working. 
Um, you're not going to run into issues like with signing in and those type of things. Um, it's always a good idea to stay on the most current, uh, latest, up-to-date version. But um, that is uh, an update about Dropbox and logging in if you're having that problem. And then last, uh, as many of you know, it is conference and convention season. And typically we would be hanging out with you guys and spending some time, so maybe having some beers. Um, but because of all this stuff going on, everything's happening virtually. Uh, spec just happened, and that's for uh, sports photography. And uh, the next step is the photo booth expo. So I think we gave away a DX100 um, printer at spec, one of my personal favorite. That's what I do most of my printing on. Um, so, and then coming up, uh, we have the photo booth expo that's also happening virtually. I will be, um, I will have a few classes. Wally will have a few, and Bill with Imaging Spectrum, he'll have a few classes that are going on. So, um, unfortunately, we won't be able to. Uh, see each other in person but we can still see each other virtually uh, one thing that i get all the time while we're at these conventions is people coming to me with great ideas they think that hey this if we just added this feature so let's use this video comment section uh, for those type of things what you would typically tell me at a conference when we're hanging out what you want to see or uh, what you think could be better Use the comment section below and tell me, uh, give me the same pitch you would at uh, Photo Booth Expo. So I am looking forward to those comments and then next year I'm sure we'll be hanging out and drinking beers. Uh, so that will do it for this episode. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, one last thing. Next month, um, if you haven't done a virtual booth yet, Next month will be a good opportunity. We have a, I have a little surprise coming um, that even if you don't have Darkroom Core, uh, we'll have a way that you can possibly try it out with, with Darkroom Core um, so you can see how much fun a virtual booth run by yourself um, can be. So uh, keep an eye out for that next month and um, Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending the time with me and with us and being the amazing customers that you are. Happy Valentine's Day and I will see you next time. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, now's a great time to subscribe. And if you think this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. That'll make it easier for other YouTube uh, people to find this video and maybe it'll help them out. And there should be a, uh, a link to some other videos right over here. T did, they, did they put it on my face again? There, there's right here. Thanks, I'll see you next time.